Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a uh, simple first-person shooter controller inside of Unity. First-person shooter controllers or FPS controllers are used in a lot of games. Think about games like Call of Duty or Battlefield or um, even non-shooter games like Subnautica and Ark. Uh, and obviously Minecraft is also, uh, also has a first-person controller. Now today I'm going to show you guys how to make uh, one very simply inside of Unity. Now before we go start, there are basically two ways of doing this. The first is physics based. So we're gonna, uh, that way we're gonna be adding a rigid body to our uh, component. However, I don't want it to be physics based. So we are gonna be using the character controller with say a built-in component inside of Unity. What I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna create a new 3D object called cube and I'm gonna call it ground. Then I'm gonna reset its transform and I'm gonna set the scale, the uh, scale uh, X to 100 and the scale C also to 100 so we have some uh, room to walk around on. Then I'm gonna create a new folder. This folder I'm gonna call materials. There we go. And then I'm gonna create a, a new material which I'm just gonna call ground mat. So this will be the material that we will attach to our ground. And I'm gonna create this like uh, dark cream and I'm gonna attach it to our ground and now we are done with the, with that part then i'm going to create a new empty game object and i'm going to call this player so this will be our actual player then i'm going to reset the transform and i'm going to set the uh, position of the ground actually to something like minus one and then i'm going to go into the player now first i'm going to create a, a new 3d object which is going to be our capsule and this will be our basically our visual um, and I'm gonna set the position to uh, 0, 1, 0. And then I'm gonna remove the capsule collider. Then I'm gonna move our main camera in here and I'm gonna set the position to 0, 1.64, 0. Then under the player, I'm gonna be uh, making our actual movement. So the way we're gonna do that is we're first gonna create a new folder. So create a new folder called scripts, or if you already have one, then you don't obviously have to make another one. And I'm gonna create another new folder, which I'm gonna call player. Then I'm gonna create a new c -sharp script, which I'm gonna call player controller. And first we're gonna uh, make sure that uh, there will always be a player controller component connected to our game object. So the first thing we're gonna type, acquire component type of character controller. So it will check if you have a character controller attached and if not it will add one. First we're gonna create a serialized field private float walking speed. But this will basically be uh, the speed that we are walking normally. Now the reason we make it a serialized field is because then we can edit it in the editor or in this inspector I should say without having to make it public. Then we're gonna create a new, uh, another float called running speed which will be uh, slightly above uh, that wa the walking speed. Then I'm gonna create a float jump speed so this will be how, uh, how high we will jump. And I'm gonna create a float gravity which I'm gonna set to something way higher than the jump speed and, uh, so that we actually fall down. Uh, because once again we're not using rigid bodies, we're not using uh, Unity's uh, physics, we're using our own physics. Then I'm gonna create a uh, uh, serialized field private camera player camera so this will be our actual camera that will be uh, rotating. Then I'm gonna create a float look speed so this will basically be our sensitivity. And then I'm going to create a uh, float called look x uh, limit, uh, which will be uh, how high we can uh, look, which will be at 45 degrees, but we can obviously change this. We can change this all in the inspector. And then I'm going to create a, a bool is running. So this will be uh, true if we are running and false if we are not. Then I'm going to create a private character controller called character controller, uh, which will be our actual character controller uh, attached to our game object. And I'm going to create a vector tree move direction, which will be the way we are uh, moving. So this is going to be a very important uh, variable. And then we're going to create error uh, rotation X, which will be set to zero, which will be the rotation of our uh, camera. And then finally, I'm going to hide an inspector so that we can make it public, but we won't see it in the inspector. Uh, so a public move called pen move, which will be default true. Then inside of the start method, uh, where which is called uh, before the first frame of that update, which is here, we're going to set our character controller equal to uh, the uh, to get component character controller. So the character controller that is attached to our game object. Then I'm going to say cursor dot lock state equals cursor lock mode dot locked. So basically we can't move our cursor while playing. And I'm going to say cursor dot visible equals false. So we also won't see our cursor. Then uh, under the void update method, which is called every frame, 
we're going to say vector tree forward is going to be equal to transform the transform direction vector tree dot forward. So this will set what way it's forward. And we're going to say vector tree right. I'm going to do the same thing. So transform dot transform direction vector tree. However, this will plan. I'm going to say right. And I'm going to say is running is equal input dot get key key code dot left shift. So if we are holding the left shift, then it will return true. And if not, then it will be false and then i'm going to do basically we are setting our current speed uh, x and y and then we're going to say our uh, current move rotate uh, direction y is equal to move direction of y and finally we're going to say our move direction is equal to forward multiplied by curve speed x plus right multiplied by curve speed y now i get if that uh, i get it if you don't understand this fully so i suggest you just uh, type it from me then i'm gonna say if input.get button jump uh, so we are checking if we are jumping and this a uh, the jump button is a default uh, button built in by unity and we can move and character controller that is grounded so we are standing on the ground then we're gonna say move direction of y is equal to jump speed so basically we are jumping and if not then move direction of y is equal to move direction of y so it will be set uh, back to the normal speed then we're gonna say if uh, character controller that is grounded is not equal to true so that's what this stands for then we're going to apply gravity so we're going to say move direction of y minus equals gravity multiplied by time dot delta time so we'll be falling back down to the ground we're going to say character controller dot move move direction multiplied by time dot delta time so we are actually going to be moving using this statement right here to do the rotation we are first going to check if we can move if we can then we're going to say rotation x plus equals minus input dot get axis mouse y multiplied by loop speed we're going to say rotation x is equal to math.clam rotation x minus look, uh, look x limit then look x limit then we're going to say player camera that transform that local rotation equal to quaternion that euler rotation x zero zero and then finally we're going to say transform that rotation multiplied equals quaternion that euler zero input that get x is mouse x multiplied by look speed and then we're going to say zero and we're going to uh, drag our player controller onto our player and you can see that the character controller is automatically added then we're going to set the center of this to one i'm going to drag our main camera into our player camera and then i'm going to press play and now you can see that uh, we are basically done yes there we go we can now move around we can run we can jump we can look and everything works great so oh we fell off um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you learned something uh, i will be doing uh, actual shooting in the next video so uh, please like and subscribe for that video Thanks for watching.